South African female scientists have been celebrated for their breakthrough medical innovations by the U.S. Secretary of State. Anthony Blinken concluded his tour of the country by meeting some of the Medical Research Council. Now this week he announced the U.S.'s new Sub-Sahara Africa strategy, which includes more cooperation between local scientists and their U.S. counterparts. Govan Whittles has those details. The U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, meeting with South Africa's leading medical scientists. Today we've seen um, how great women scientists are and how they're moving the field forward from mRNA vaccine capability to HIV prevention to understanding nuclear medicine and also to making sure that we were able to ventilate people during COVID. South Africa's International Relations Minister, Dr. Naledi Pando, says women scientists are leading the way in the fight for gender parity. What women scientists have taught us is we need to be bold, uh, we need to be active and practical in terms of ensuring that women enjoy equal opportunity. The United States is funding and cooperating with these scientists on a number of projects. So we collaborate with their scientists, we collaborate on funding, so the MRC and the NIH co-fund programs. Um, our scientists receive grants, competitive grants from the NIH. And Anthony Blinken says they're committed to supporting the women leading innovation. To making sure that they have every opportunity uh, to do that, uh, because when they do, we see the results. We see literally life-changing results, and life-changing results Again, not just uh, for South Africa, but for the continent and for the world. These are things that will benefit uh, Americans too. Blinken's next stop will be the DRC and Rwanda, where he's expected to address rising tensions over an M23 rebel insurgency. Govan Whittles, Pretoria.